Today's story is Rocket Says Clean Up by Nathan Bryan, illustrated by Dapo Ariola. I can't sleep tonight. I'm too excited because tomorrow. Me, my mom, and my big brother Jamal are going on vacation to see my Grammy and Grampy. It feels as though we've been packing forever, but now we're ready to go. I'm going to be fist bumping a turtle, dancing with a dolphin, high fiving an octopus, and surfing the waves like awesome Imani Wilmot. Did you know Imani Wilmot created the first female surf competition in Jamaica? As soon as we arrive, I give my Grammy and Grampy a huge hug. My grandparents are the best. They run whale watching tours and have an animal sanctuary behind their house. I can't wait to help. Grampy tells me we never touch wild animals unless they need to be rescued or cared for. But first, it's time to surf. My Grammy is really good. Then mom and I build a huge sandcastle. Oh no, a baby turtle has washed up on shore, all tangled in plastic. I pick her up gently and take her to Grammy and Grampy. They can fix this. Grammy says she will try her best and takes her back to the sanctuary. Plastic is ruining these islands, Rocket, said Grampy sadly. We save as many creatures as we can, but some stay away. People used to come here to see the whales, but we haven't spotted a whale in a long time. He leads me down the beach. It feels as though there is more plastic than there is sand. I feel really sad. We need to do something. But what? The next day at the beach, there are people playing in the sand, swimming in the sea, and eating popsicles. But all I notice now is the plastic. Surely they see it too. I need to let everyone know. Did you know whales eat the plastic and it makes them sick? Did you know nearly half the trash in the sea? Comes directly from careless people? Did you know there are over 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean? Soon we have lots of new friends who want to help. As the day goes on, more and more people join. We spend the whole day cleaning the beach. Even Jamal helps. The cleanup crew is amazing, and soon the beach is. Clean. But now, what do we do with all the plastic we collected? Teresa, part of the cleanup crew, has a brilliant idea. My mom is an artist. Maybe we could get her to create something out of it. Yes. Teresa's mom makes awesome bins for trash. Out of the trash we collected, and the cleanup crew makes the front page of the newspaper and the TV news. Now no one will forget why we need to clean up. Everyone on the island wants clean beaches. Everyone on the island wants clean water. Everyone on the island wants to bring back the whales. The next day, Grammy and Grampy have a barbecue for the whole cleanup crew. The smell of Grammy's special sauce wafts around the island, and best of all, while everyone's talking and laughing and eating, Grampy and I release the turtle we rescued back into the sea and watch as she swims away. She's all better now, and I just know one day the whales will come back. Did you know one day you are going to change the world, Rocket? Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. 
If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.